Roberts, a 50-year-old client, is seeking treatment for opioid use disorder. Which medication is considered an effective treatment option for opioid addiction and can help reduce withdrawal symptoms? A. Disulfiram B. Methadone C. Bupropion D. Lamotrigin Time's up. Answer. B. Methadone Methadone is an effective treatment for opioid use disorder, primarily used to reduce withdrawal symptoms and curb cravings. It functions as a long-acting opioid agonist, binding to opioid receptors without producing euphoria. Administered daily under medical supervision, methadone helps stabilize patients and is most effective when combined with counseling and behavioral therapies. Proper management by healthcare professionals is crucial due to its potential for dependency. Who is known for the ecological systems theory, which emphasizes the influence of multiple environmental systems on human development. A. Sigmund Freud B. Eric Erikson C. Abraham Maslow D. Yuri Bronfimbrenner Time's up. Answer. D. Yuri Bronfenbrenner Yuri Bronfenbrenner develops the ecological systems theory, which explores how different environmental systems influence human development. This theory segments these influences into layers. The microsystem immediate settings like family and school. The mesosystem interactions between microsystems. The exosystem indirect environmental effects and the macrosystem broader cultural and societal contexts. Each layer highlights how surroundings from intimate to broad affect personal growth, providing a comprehensive view of developmental influences. In a community-based program for individuals experiencing homelessness, a social worker is tasked with identifying the needs of clients. Which method can be effective in involving clients in problem identification and assessing their needs? A. Conducting surveys and assessments anonymously. B. Providing predetermined solutions to choose from. C. Conducting one-on-one -on -one interviews without client input. D. Assigning clients to complete self-assessment forms independently. Time's up. Answer. A. Conducting surveys and assessments anonymously. Conducting surveys and assessments anonymously enhances honest feedback from clients, as it assures them their privacy is protected. This encourages active participation and truthful responses, which are crucial for accurate issue identification and effective service improvement in social work. Anonymity builds trust and ensures data reliability making it a fundamental approach in ethical social work practice. Lev Vygotsky's socio-cultural theory of cognitive development highlights the importance of which concepts in the learning process, where a more knowledgeable individual provides guidance and support to a less knowledgeable person. A. Scaffolding B. Accommodation C. Assimilation D. Egocentrism Time's up. Answer. A. Scaffolding. Scaffolding is a concept from Vygotsky's socio-cultural theory of cognitive development. It involves a more knowledgeable individual helping a learner by providing temporary support to enhance understanding or skills. This support is tailored and gradually reduced as the learner becomes more competent. Scaffolding emphasizes active learning facilitated by guidance allowing learners to achieve tasks beyond their immediate grasp, thereby promoting deeper cognitive development. John is a young adult who is angry with his boss for criticizing his work. Instead of confronting his boss, John goes home and yells at his partner for not doing the dishes, which defense mechanism 
is this an example of? A. Rationalization B. Denial C. Projection D. Displacement Time's up. Answer. D. Displacement. Displacement is a defense mechanism where individuals redirect emotions or reactions from their original source to a less threatening target. This typically occurs subconsciously when expressing feelings directly might lead to negative consequences or is deemed unacceptable. For example, a person angry at their boss might instead express that anger towards someone perceived as less intimidating, like a family member. In therapy, recognizing displacement is key to addressing deeper emotional conflicts and promoting healthier ways of expressing emotions. Thank you for joining us today. We hope these discussions have given you a clearer understanding of the diverse topics within social work and have sparked your interest in further exploring these crucial areas if you're preparing for your social work exams or simply wish to enhance your professional skills, I encourage you to book a personalized study session with us. It's a fantastic opportunity to address any questions you have and to strengthen your understanding in a supportive environment. Be sure to check out the description below for more resources that can support your journey in social work. From detailed guides to comprehensive study materials, We've gathered everything you need in one place. Also, don't forget to take advantage of the free practice exam available in the description below. It's a great tool to assess where you stand and to pinpoint areas that might need a bit more attention. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon to get updates on new content. Your growth as a compassionate and skilled social worker is what drives us and we're here to support you every step of the way. Remember, every step you take in your education and professional development is a step towards making a meaningful impact. We're excited to see where your journey takes you. Take care and see you in the next video.